I was, as a young child, I was very patriotic, and I think part of that was due because I come from a very patriotic family, World War II, World War I, Vietnam, the Revolutionary War, and the uh, French and Indian Wars. My family, part of my family came over in the Mayflower. But I got really involved, and I'm a United States Air Force veteran, served in, uh, on many air bases, in, uh, including Utapal and Thailand. I have four, uh, three brothers, and uh, one was too young to go in the military, but I had a brother, uh, George, next uh, one down, who served with the 82nd Airborne and had a combat jump in the Dominican Republic when um, they had the coup there years ago in the early 60s. And then my brother Peter, who is, is now gone, uh, was a highly decorated Vietnam veteran with the 25th Tropical Lightning Division and died very young of his wounds and Agent Orange. Um, and I started thinking about my brother being just a regular kid and happy-go-lucky and he didn't come home that way. So I was back in school and I decided to do my doctoral dissertation on post-traumatic stress disorder in the Vietnam veteran community implications. And I had a whole study group and I made my brother one of the study group. So that's what got me going. And when I came to New Hampshire, when my wife became a lawyer, uh, I started getting involved in veterans activities on the city level. And then about 20 years ago, I got uh, involved in state uh, veterans uh, work. And I was the first chairman of the State Veterans Advisory Committee that advises the uh, Senate and the House uh, on a military and veterans bills. I also uh, uh, became a, a, a um, military attaché for the governor uh, for a couple of years. And then, I, of course, I'm the, I've been the commander of disabled veterans in Nashua for about 12 years. And right now, I'm also the aide to the Secretary of the Army, uh, which I'll be retiring from uh, next month, which I will have held it for the longest time in Nashua. I New Hampshire history, uh, 10 years but I've decided, due to illness, that I need to back away from uh, many of the things. So I, uh, I feel that I've had a chance to help other people, and that makes me feel very good.